Gentleman from Florida. Mr. Chairman, I yield uh, five minutes to the distinguished gentleman from Texas, Mr. Paul. Gentleman from Texas is recognized for five minutes. I thank the uh, gentleman for yielding, asking them to consent to revise and extend my remarks. With that objection. Mr. Uh, chairman, I rise in opposition to this bill. We've already appropriated one point seven trillion dollars for this year's budget. We don't need to appropriate another nine billion dollars. It is said that we need to appropriate this money to fight the drug war in uh, Colombia. We've been fighting the drug war for 25 years. We have spent $250 billion on the drug war. Someday, we will have to wake up and decide that the way we fight the drug war is wrong. As a physician, I can tell you it is a serious problem. There's a lot of people suffering from drug usage in this country. But if something doesn't work, why are we so determined to pursue a, 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 a process that doesn't work? Quite frankly, I'm not sure the real reason why we're in Colombia has anything to do with drugs. I do concede a lot of individuals will be voting for this bill because of the belief that it might help. But it won't help, so we should reconsider it and think about the real reasons why we might be there. I had an amendment that was not approved, but what I would have done if I would have had the chance would have taken all the money from the overseas spending, Kosovo, Bosnia, East Timor, and now this new adventure done in Colombia, and take it and put it into building up our military defense. That's what we need. We need better salaries, better medical care, and we need better housing. But here we go, spreading ourselves thinly again around the world, taking on a new adventure which will surely lead to trouble, plus a lot of expenses. You know, we've talked a little bit about helicopters going down there. And uh, there's one, uh, I guess, cynical hope about what might happen here. Because too often when we get involved, we were going to go into Bosnia for six months. We've been there five years. We were going to go to Kosovo for a short period of time. It's open-ended. We're in East Timor, and we will soon be in Colombia. But there was one time where we backed away. We literally surrendered and ran with our tail between our legs because we sent our helicopters, and that had to do with Somalia. We sent our Black Hawk helicopters in there. We had two of them shot down in Mogadishu, had two others damaged that crash landed when they returned to the base. Within a couple of weeks, we were out of there. We did not send our Black Hawk helicopters into Kosovo because they'd be shot down. It's not a good weapon. It's a good weapon to get us further involved. Who's going to fly the Black Hawk helicopters? You think the Colombians are going to fly them? You can bet your bottom dollar we're going to have American pilots down there, very much involved in training and much uh, in getting in much deeper involvement than we ever should be. So I think that, uh, unfortunately, uh, this could end up into a real mess. Maybe then we'd have enough sense to leave. But we in the Congress ought to have enough sense not to go down there. This money can be better spent on national defense. We should be concerned about national security. When we get ourselves involved, whether it's the Persian Gulf or Bosnia or wherever, all we do is build up our enemies and expose ourselves more to terrorist attacks because we're not doing it in the name of security. Under the Constitution, we should have a strong national defense and we should provide for national security. Going into Colombia has nothing to do with national security. Even those who build helicopters are pretty blunt when one lobbyist said, it's business for us and we are as aggressive as anybody. I'm just trying to sell helicopters. What about the oil companies who support this war? Several oil companies, yes, they want security, so they want the military-industrial complex to come down there and protect their oil interests. So the oil interests are very supportive of this war, as well as the helicopter companies. But the American people, if they were asked, they would decline. A recent poll by Zogby showed that essentially 70% of the American people answer no to this particular question. Should the U.S. help defend militarily such and such country, even though it could cost American soldiers their lives? It varied depending on which country, but basically 65 to 75% of the American people say no. 
And can anybody come to this floor and absolutely assure us that we're not going to lose American lives in, in, in uh, Colombia? We're certainly committing ourselves to huge numbers of dollars, dollars that we don't have, dollars that if we wanted to and needed to could come out of the $1.7 trillion budget we already have. So I would suggest to my colleagues, let's reassess this. It's not really a war on drugs. The war on drugs, by trying to, uh, pr to produce in the interdiction, doesn't work. It hasn't worked. It's not going to work. It's always an excuse. It's an excuse for our military interventionism around the world. And I ask for a no vote. Town gentleman expired. Gentleman from Wisconsin.